first ladies and gentlemen as tradition every morning i like to read you guys a random bible chapter you know because a verse is just like eh. and a chapter is like oh so here we go but i want to get this right so everybody can read it we want you guys to read along okay okay here we go three two one Isaiah 32. I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to switch this up. What do we got? Uh, what's easy to read? New King James? New? new? Was one of them New Kings? New American? New English? Let's go American. Okay. Just want to switch it up every once in a while. You know? Behold, a king will reign. All right. Isaiah 32. Behold, a king will reign righteously, and princes will rule justly. Hold on. This is messing with me. I'm gonna need you I'm gonna need you to just just we're just gonna we're just gonna quiet you full, fully right now this morning. Isaiah needs your full attention. Behold, a king will reign righteously, and princes will rule justly. Each will be like a refuge from the wind, and a shelter from the storm, like streams of water in a dry country, like the shade of a huge rock in a parched land. Then the eyes of those who, will, who see will not be blinded, and the ears of those who hear will listen. The mind of the hasty will discern the truth, and the tongue of the stammerers will hasten to speak clearly. No longer will the fool be called noble, or the rogue be spoken of as generous. For a fool speaks nonsense, and his heart inclines toward wickedness, to practice ungodliness and to speak error against Yahuwah, to keep the hungry person unsatisfied and to withhold drink from the thirsty. As for a rogue, his weapons are evil. He devises wicked schemes to destroy the afflicted with slander, even though the needy one speaks what is right. But the noble man devises noble plans, and by noble plans he stands. Rise up, you women who are at ease, and hear my voice. Give ear to my word, you complacent daughters. Within a year and five days, you will be troubled, a complac O oh, complacent daughters, for the vintage is ended, and the fruit gathering will not come. Tremble, you women who are at ease. Be troubled, you complacent daughters. Strip, undress, and put sackcloth on your waist. Beat your breasts for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine, and for the land of my people in which thorns and briars shall come up. Yea, for all the joyful houses and for the jubilant city, because the palace has been abandoned, the populated city forsaken. Hill and watchtower become caves forever, a delight for wild donkeys, a pasture for flocks, until the Spirit is poured out upon us from on high, and the wilderness becomes a fertile land, and the fertile field is considered a forest. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness will abide in the fertile field. And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. Then my people will live in a peaceful habitation, and in secure dwellings, and in undistributed resting places. Undisturbed, sorry. Undisturbed resting places. And it will hail when the forest comes down, and the city will be utterly laid low. How blessed will you be, you who sow beside all waters? Who let out freely the ox and the donkey. Amen. Amen. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, uh, look at this. Until the spirit is poured out. So, so this, 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 this area, this place, right, is, uh, uh, has been abandoned, forsaken. Until when? The kingdom of heaven, the spirit is poured out upon us from high. When the wilderness becomes fertile land. When is that? New heaven? New Jerusalem? And the fertile field is considered a forest. A righteousness will abide in the fertile field. I don't think, I don't think you can find one place on earth right, right now where righteousness abides in that land. So, amen, because this is, this is, this is, this is a good, good, uh, Good thing to hope for. 
good thing to hope for. The glorious future. There you go. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 32. I thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning as we read the random Bible chapter of the day. Thank you guys.